Hello everyone. Today I will take you through the demo of Odoo 8 University Management, a product by Pragmatic TechSoft. Let us first go through the configurations of the system. Here in Courses Management, we have different kind of courses that are available within the university. These are different batches. Then we have standard divisions and allocation of divisions where divisions are allocated to the students. Next we have is classroom wherein different classrooms in the university are configured. We enter the details like facilities that are available, assets that are available, number of persons that, that can accommodate in a classroom etc. Then we have subject management wherein we have the list of all the subjects that are taught in the university. Next we have is activity type wherein different type of activities are configured. We have achievement types wherein we configure different achievements that the students will be getting once they participate. In activity log we maintain which students have participated or which have won. Next we have is hostel management. In facility we enter all the facilities that are available in the hostel. Then we have hostel with the details like what is the capacity of the hotels, which are the rooms that are there in the hostel and how many students can accommodate a particular room. This is a detailed room. We have name of the allocated students. What is the students per room? and what is the rent for the room. Next we have is transportation management. In this we enter all the routes that are covered by the university transport. Then we have vehicles wherein details of all the vehicles, what is the registration number, what is the capacity of the vehicle and the driver who will be driving this particular vehicle. All these details are maintained. In transportation, we have details like from when this transportation facility will be available, which vehicle will be available on this particular route, what is the cost, which all stops will be there in the, in the entire route and which all students will be using this facility. Next we have is exam management. In this we enter the exam types and the exam rooms. In exam rooms, we have details like which all courses can use this particular exam room, the standards that can utilize this room and the students who will be there in this particular room. Next we have general management configurations like categories of the students, different kind of religions and scholarship details of the students. In scholarship details, we write the type of the scholarship what is the name of this and the name of scholarship. Now let's move towards the university management part. In years we enter the academic years for the university. In months we have different months in one particular academic year. For creating a student record we first go towards the admission section. Herein we enter the details like what is the name, gender, birth date, then the application number, application date of the student, what is the fees that is to be charged, then the batch number, standard, category, etc. In educational details, we enter whether this particular student, an old student or a new student. If it's an old student, we don't have to enter much information, but if it is a new student, we will have to enter the details like the previous institute, what is the result of the student from the previous institute? What is the GR number? In personal details, we enter the information like address, religion, family business, family income, etc. Once this is done, we click on open student profile. We enter the further details like what is the nationality of the student, language, visa information, bank account information, etc. We enter the education details, here the list of all the assignments that will be given to the student can be maintained. 
in library we have details of the library card in alumni details we can enter the details of any alumni which is related to the student in placement offers we can maintain the history of different placement offers then we have activity log wherein details of all the activities are maintained in parents we have detail of the parents of the student in health detail we have details like what is the blood group of the student what is the height weight if the student wear glasses or no if the student is physically challenged or he has any major disease etc when the student is promoted to the new year the history of the previous academic years is maintained in this particular tab next let's move towards faculties record this is a sample faculty record we enter details like what is the birth date pan card number library card details bank account number religion nationality etc in timetable we have details of the timetable of the teacher in library card details we have library details of the teacher like what is the number the issue date number of books that are allowed for the teacher in subject details we can enter the name of the subjects that the teacher can teach and in health details we have details like what is the height weight etc of the teacher next let's move towards the daily attendance sheet first we have to create a sample monthly attendance sheet and based on that we can create a daily attendance sheet every day as you can see the date for today is automatically taken from the system if we enter the academic class details the division the batch save and you can see that the name of the students are auto populated over here all the user will have to do is just click on the check boxes and enter if the student is present or no and then validate in this way we can easily enter the details of the attendance of the students next let's move towards the timetable in timetable we can enter different periods the start time end time next we have is timetable which is available right now here in kanban view this can also be available in calendar view the user which logs in in the system can see his timetable in the calendar view as well we have to generate the timetable by selecting the periods and the dates we can also take print out of the timetable as you can see the timetable can be student wise or it can be teacher wise this is a sample timetable which is created class wise or you can say student wise next let's move towards the other general details like placement offer here in we can enter the details of placement for the student that has been offered like what is the package offered what are what is the training period joining date etc we can also uh, print out the hall tickets of the students as you can see this is a sample hall ticket admission analysis report can also be taken this is the admission analysis report wherein details of the application number then the name of the students etc is maintained in one particular report we also have student migration option wherein when the student is promoted to the next class then all this list of students can be promoted from here from one single window in achievement we enter the details of the student achievements next we have is library wherein we maintain the details of different books that are present in the library in book movements we can enter which the details where the book has been allotted to which student 
these are the requests for different kind of books that the students have placed in library card configurations we have details of the library card different type of library cards the authors publishers different tags if we want next let's move towards the exams we have maintained detailed information of the exams as you can see we can create different kind of sessions for the exam then we have to create exams the evaluation of the exams can be normal gpa cwa or cce we can allocate resources uh, for the exams then we have qualification criteria based on which the results will be taken out we have result templates what all have to be considered uh, what conditions will have to be considered while generating results these are the result lines these are mark sheet lines the results are auto populated based on the configurations that we do in result templates qualification criteria and past stages mark sheet of the students can also be printed using this button let's let's move towards the fees we can create different kind of fee heads this is a fee structure that can be created this is a sample fee structure this is a sample fee receipt wherein once you enter the fee structure automatically you get all the details of the fee structure and we will not have to enter it manually every time in payroll register the details of all the fees receipts that we have received for a particular day can be seen next we have different separate portals for students for library as well as for parents and faculty in faculties we have details of faculties students different kind of assignments that have given by the faculties these are the details of the exams details of the exam attendees then the mark sheet lines of the students the faculty can also request for a book using book queue request the faculty dashboard we have details of the timetable as well as assignments here in suppose if certain book is not available in the library we can request the librarian to buy that book and make it available for everyone using this book request option in student dashboard you can see that we have book queue request where the student can make requests to the library for particular book next we have student where the student can see his own information in assignment submission the student can submit the assignment from the portal itself in student dashboard the details of assignments as well as the timetable can be seen again we have request book even the students can request for a certain book which is not available in the library the librarian can think about it um, discuss and then make that book available in library we have details wherein the due books for today and due books of the month can be seen in book queue requ book request the librarian can see request of all the books we have book details publisher details and author details over here along with this we can also use other features like events where in different kind of events can be published different events which are held for the, in the university then we have news where in blog can be posted this can be customized as by the customer easily as per his requirement the website can also be used by the university this can be used to publish details maybe job requirements for the faculty or new admissions detail about the admissions all these news can be shared on this website by the university different kind of access rights are available in the system using which the access rights of the different users can be restricted overall university management has powerful features which can be used by universities all around the world thank you for your time have a good day